What's up guys, it's only Ninja Warren, Ava is in a Super Hat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. Specifically here, we are going over a combination with our brass knuckles that we just got from Karate Mart. So if you also recently got brass knuckles and live in a state where it's legal, then grab a pair of brass knuckles. We're gonna go through a combination that you can learn right now and practice in your backyard today. Of course, as always, before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Please, it would really help your boy out. But let's get into it. So starting with our brass knuckles, obviously, you don't really want to hold them like this. This is not how you hold brass knuckles. I realize that uh, that may be for some people obvious, but for others, it's not. So I want to make sure we all understand uh, the, the uh, bottom, this part, is for your palm to support so that you don't feel the impact on your fingers. You feel the impact in your hand and in your arm not in your fingers. If you're feeling the impact in your fingers, you're probably holding it incorrectly. Now you can hold it two different ways, either at the bottom knuckles, this is good for kind of swiping at an opponent, or you can hold it up so you can do straight punches that are much more effective at impacting your target. Um, but for today, we're gonna do our uh, striking, our punch style of hold. If you wanna switch to swiping, can. And if you want me to do a tutorial for swiping, if you have smaller hands or anything like that, let me know down in the comments below. But let's let's do the combination. We're just going to do a simple um, kickboxing combination that allows us to use our body mechanics to put much more power into each strike, which adds on to the fact that we have brass knuckles in our hand. So, uh, personally, I like fighting southpaw. That means putting my dominant hand in front. This is mostly because I personally rely on speed a lot more than power. If you would like to fight traditional, uh, you can put that dominant hand in the back for that power uh, power cross. But again, I am much rather use a speed jab than a power cross. But with that out of the way, our combination is going to be jab, cross, hook, uppercut, overhand, right. So we're going to start off with our jab. We want to push our hip forward, twisting our front foot as we fire our jab straight up, keeping your other hand by your face, protect you if you ever need to. So firing that jab off straight just like that. Again, rotating that hip to push yourself forward and add more power and range into that jab. From here, our back hand's gonna fire our cross. This is also a straight punch. We're gonna twist our hips, fire our back hand, Cross. You want to make sure with this hand you're either palm striking to protect your knuckles or hitting with the first two knuckles only. You want to grab knuckles on both sides and let you do, in which case, good for you. But since I don't, we're going to be firing with the first two knuckles on our cross. So we have our jab and our cross. Next, we're going to fire our hook. We want to make sure our brass knuckles are up and down, straight up and down. We don't want it to be a cross because we don't want to put any pressure on our pinky unnecessarily. Uh, or without necessity. <laughs> but we want to up and down, keeping our elbow at this solid bend. You don't want to be too far out. You don't want to be too far in. You want to be a nice, easy, uh, generally 90 degree, a little bit wider than 90 degree bend, bend for our hook. And this can be body, or this can be head, body, head, just like that. So we have one, and then you're rotating two, and we're rotating again. Three. We're not wanting to hit ourselves, so don't bend your elbow because this will hit you and it will hurt. So don't bend your elbow. Just keep it at the bend the whole time and don't actively bend it to hitting you in the face. Because again, that would not be fun at all. So we have our jab, our cross, our hook, our uppercut is going to come underneath. Our back hand is going to uh, connect to our hip. Our elbow connects to our hip. We're going to rotate so that our fist faces our target and you're gonna fire upward either to the face or inwards towards the body. It can be either the one, whichever one you feel uh, like you and I would do a body in this situation simply because we went head, body, head, body. But again, that's just up to you guys. So one more time, we have one, our jab, two, our body, three, our head, four, our body. Now. After this, we're coming with a right overhand hook. We're gonna take our right hand, invert it so that it's leading with that first two knuckles or that first part of that brass knuckle. We're gonna come up around someone's guard, 
and down on their face. This is designed to come up and around someone's guard and still hit them. Meaning, after we get that uppercut, our right hand twists, our, our body twists, right hand leads, dropping our opponent. And that is a devastating power finishing move. So that will finish pretty much anyone given the chance. So one more time, nice and slow, we have jab, cross, hook, uppercut, overhand hook, and then we're done. And there we have it. If you want to know more about these black leather wrapped knuckle dusters, make sure to check them out. Um, I left the video that talks about them in the description for you guys. So you can go to Karate Mark's website or Karate Mark's YouTube channel and check them out. And it would really help me out because I just started hosting their Weapon Wednesday channel where I just started posting about weapons literally every Wednesday. So if you want to see more of the content that I put out specifically, you got to go check them out as well. But until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Hey, I just figured I'd let you guys know that there's new merch in the store. Like, if you didn't even know I had a store, I have a merch store, and there's new merch in it. So, definitely go check it out. There might be something you like, there might not be, but, you know, you never know until you know. So, go check it out. Links down in the description. Be the Modern Ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim I hit flashing change while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to